Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Brainboy20, and when we last left off, we had taken these inglorious bastards off on another mission to Championdom and beyond. And we had also gained access to the Sunshine and the Thicket benefit, or Town Event which boosts our damage in the wild and increases our experience. So, I need to take a high damage party down to the wild in sincerest hope. Beringer will be a part of this, so will be Bordekeen, but I need to actually set this up. I think, so it's one two and I think the hag is fat enough to qualify, so I'm actually going to want to take Iron Swan as well. Just because of the high crit modifier. Wicked Hack seems very helpful. Bleed Out, not so much. Breakthrough doesn't help as much. The damage minus is just a little bit too strict. However, if it bleeds, might not actually be that bad. Let's experiment with something different. And then Adrenaline Rush has just always been helpful. So we have Sword of All. Sword of All, which I'll put Cry Havoc at max. I don't really need that, though. Bordekeen, Beringer, Altard. Yeah, we do need a tanky-ish character. Or we can have Tau Vase go instead, and his Holy Lance might actually make things worthwhile here. Oh, he wouldn't be able to do anything, except to hit the back line. And I already have Beringer as my back line, so I guess actually Altard... You'd only hit the front line as well, and that's the problem. Talvez has the chance to. I'm gonna have to sell stuff for Talvez, aren't I? Hmm. Unequip all trinkets. Sort by character class restriction. Huh, the fortune armlet actually doesn't look like it sucks. I can't believe I've never looked at that before. Anyway, I don't have Crusader's orders anymore. Wow, that actually really sucks. Um, I'll sell you. I don't need three abomination padlocks, and I think that'll be enough for now. We have our party selected. So we need to get Tal Vase up to a point where he can actually do his stuff. Yes, take your great sword. The Long Crusade. And I need to sell off some more trinkets. I have it, gone to the days of me having double abominations. It's hard for me to keep anyone together, let alone allowing this to happen. No. I'm probably never going to use that. The Fleet Florian might be hilarious, and we'll ditch the Sturdy Greaves. This is why I like to collect these things. Not because the immediate gold is nice, because I'm always tempted to spend my immediate gold. It's just everything else provided is hilarious. Alright. We'll embark. We're not going to send the insane ones on a mission. Sort of all, you're going to want to be in here. Right, wrong target. Petty distractions as well. Come now, really? Uh, we are taking Talvase along, yes. Meaning we're going to have to take some blood with us, but that might be to our benefit, as we might get the buffs we need. And Beringer. Alright. Now for the more important bit. I know all this costs a ton of gold. Is there anything here that we actually have everything for? For the Jester, yes. Two additional... Oh! Okay, I didn't actually know what that meant. Okay, so that just flat out boosts your bonfires and the amount of time you have using them. That's a very interesting mechanic. I just... I don't know how I feel about that, because I might just incentivize using it way too often. Anyway. 
Alright, you both have marking abilities, correct? Yes, you drop protection, that's important. Beringer, you drop dodge. So for this, I'll take the wolf's tassel here, as we're probably going to have to make, do a lot of marking stuff. You're a manslayer, too. The torch is above 50. So for that, what I say to you is take Wilbur's flag. I'd rather have as least stun as possible. That and the 40 dodge is usually enough for you to avoid most harm. Bordekin, I have Heaven's hairpin up here as that would deal with all of your stress and give an accuracy bonus to counteract what I would give to you with the Berserker's Charm. It's just something I'm going to want to see here. I forgot you have these really useful quirks. I forgot you have insane ones. Since you're in back row, we're going to definitely give you the Prophet's Eye. Since that takes care of your stress, I would love to give you the Medic's Greaves again. That boosts your crit even more, but drops your dodge. I don't want that to happen. I, no, because I need you to do damage. We're going a high DPS party. So... Hmm. As a combination, that actually doesn't suck. I just think I could do better. Because that'd be a fair amount of damage, but I need more. We're effectively DPS racing to try to kill off the hag as large as she is there, so is there anything here that's even worthwhile? Other than Dismiss's head, which I've been staring at for so long. No, because you need to be in position for... I mean... I have a wild explorer too, this actually ends up being very good. I want something that takes an increase in stress but gives me more damage. I just don't think I have anything like that that also doesn't drop her maximum health. Because I don't think I could handle it. Oh wait. So, half measure. I'll take the overture box instead. Although the camouflage cloak is very tempting. Talvez. You no longer have the Crusader's orders, but you're supposed to be our front linesman. You have a dizzy- oh, that's right. I wanted to make it so you kept, uh, hard-skinned. What is up here, Crusader-wise? Crit if in the first position. Crusaderman's Crest. I think you have one heal skill, and that heal skill really doesn't matter, so I'll take the 15% extra damage. And I kind of want to go all out. No. I'll take you, drop your health by even more. And if we're going to be doing this, I'll give you the Siren's Conch to drop debuffs. But you aren't going first, and that's a bigger problem. Brawler's Gloves might actually be a better fit for you. I just need something to, like, increase your speed. What would do that? Mm. There's nothing here that really does that anymore, is there? It doesn't seem like it. I think I might legitimately just be not able to take anything that does a speed boot. Why did I forget Legendary Bracers exist? I forget a lot of things just exist. Sure, we'll just take this instead. Wait, that's just worse than the... Yeah, it's just worse than the Brawler Gloves in every way. Alright. I think we're golden. Yeah. I'm keeping my speed, it's too important here. I gotta go fast, and I gotta go first. Wow, that's ten minutes of preparation. That's about the longest I think I've taken with this. 
I have provision. Wait a tick, 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 wait a tick. 40% damage versus stonework? What? Okay. We're taking three bloods. I don't want to even risk him at being the lowest buff possible. You will eat. You will have light in excessive quantities. You will even have four shovels to make sure this can't possibly go awry. Two medicinal herbs. And... A key just in case. Blows through all our cash, but worth it. As time wore on, her wild policy of self-experimentation grew intolerable. She quaffed all manner of strange fungi, herbs, and concoctions, intent on gaining some insight into the horror we both knew to be growing beneath us. The change in her was appalling, and no longer able to stomach it, I sent her to live in the Weald, where her wildness would be welcomed. So it is called Weald. All right, let's begin. There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. If you don't mind me, uh, there's a little something I had totally forgotten to do. So let us quickly turn off Windows Defender, because I don't know what is wrong with me and why I forget to do this so often. And I do thank you for the advice. It does. It definitely has seemed to help. Has seemed to help when I remember to do so. Where, where would the hag be? I'm going to guess out here with me. So let us go and murder to and fro. No surprise. But it's for show. If it bleeds. Not worthwhile. Wicked Hack is just better in this case. I want to get to a point where I can probably, probably kill the supplicants. Hound, wait, Hound's Harry can cause bleed on everyone. I guarantee that you basically die, but do you have protection? You do. Protection drop on you. Everyone else is too slow, apparently. Uh, one sniper shot off on you. Oh, please. Worthless. I was hoping that we'd actually, you know, be able to kill them before we had problems with this. She could purge herself of the debuff. I have nothing else to purge here, so let us... Ooh, can I kill? Of course not. Might as well get one. Give them no quarter. Good lord. Why? I want to just hound Harry. And it does hit everyone, so let's hope some bleed goes off. Okay, you're guaranteed to die. I'll actually use Adrenal Surge to purge the just a purge. That's all, the entire purpose of it. Kill this one. Their formation is broken. Good. Maintain the offensive. You can't heal yourself. That's a problem, but we'll get to work on killing this sub. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Dazed. Reeling. It's just against the hag. It's just against the hag that my party gets destroyed immediately. For no good reason. Why? <sighs> we'll leave him to die as soon as his turn comes around. Everyone spend turns healing whomever you can. A death by inches. Problematic and annoying. But it's just against the hag. As soon as I go to try to face it, it's crit after crit after crit. For no good reason. Craving, but you're not going to die, so 
just suck it up. I want to believe it's down here. However, this route takes a little bit less and is easier to check. Still annoying. Eat some food. Get yourself healed up and let us get ready. Harrying Nasher. It can't kill. I'm not. I'm honestly not that surprised, but I might as well start working on it. Or maybe, if you weren't such a failure at your existence, you might have had a chance. Eradicated. Good enough. That'll do, Talbase. That'll do. Eh, you have ten speed. I'll let the Destroyed. bone militia get a hit off. All dem bones indeed. Dem bones. We'll start working on some healing here. As we Decimated. continue to murder everyone else that stands before us. Excellent. Oh, great. Hang on, what's the map reveal? This can be very important. Of course, it does not reveal the rooms. Thank you, game. You are so kind to me and to my kind. Okay, good to know that that is actually completely worthless. We're gonna go back. It's good to know there's no reason for me to go up there whatsoever, except in the aftermath that if we don't take a ton of damage from the hag, and are in fact able to finish her off. We'll be back for you later. Basically, there's no true reason for us to go after the hag in this instance. Sorry. If there's not a lot of damage taken from the fight with the hag, especially the considering we're trying to go broke. this a blazing star early. is born. Fungi. I am perpetually gladdened by the state of affairs. You ditch protection. I actually want you to ditch protection because I need to start taking these out immediately. And the only people who I know who are capable of doing that are these two. If it bleeds, is actually very handy here. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. One down, four to go, three to go. I can count. Trust me, I've passed basic mathematics. I know that one plus one equals fish. I also know the basics of society and customs, for I know that two plus two equals four. I should just stop now, shouldn't I? Marked and bleeding. Let's do the same trick as before. Whistle. Hope that you can actually crit on this one. Annihilated. Or deal enough damage to just kill it. And then let's continue focusing fire on the fungal crawler. Impressive. Eh, I see no problem with this. Run the marked. It hurts. Unnerved, unbalanced. It's only against the hag. It's only against the hag that this happens ad infinium. Only one that this happens for. And watch, Talbes is going to die because he should not be going oblivion. this slowly. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. I love the RNG laden fest that this has become. In radiance, may we find victory. All right, can we do some healing? Not a lot, just some. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to kill you with them either way, so we'll just set up for the future. 
drop his protection. Good God, can the mark go away? I'm trying to keep him off of death's door. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Quit it. He can infinitely pop off of death's door. This is not a problem. Alright. Just start dealing with it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. My anger is almost palpable. Uh, you know what? Yes, just, just eat the food while it grants you an absurd amount of health. Just absurd. Traveler's tent, some valuables inside. <laughs> some valuables. Some. What do I want to get rid of here? The onyx can be very nice. But as I said, I like journal pages. The gold can be very nice. But we have a secret room available, so we're going to be ditching gold in favor of it anyway. And we know exactly what's in here. I think. No, we don't know what's in here. Alright. Still glad we were able to get the healing off to such an insane degree to just put you back to full. I guess the Arbalist does have a point, and that's actually very helpful. Covered in poisonous sap. You resisted. Good. Mummified remains. We know full well that that doesn't actually help. The treasures are encased within. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Not knowing what awaits us beyond this door, let us go. One more conflict. Oh, thank goodness we surprised them. Alright, so this is going to be important. Who here just has high dodge? You do. I would like to sniper's mark. I actually would like... Mm. There's no, this is a very awkward position you put me in. I want to kill these ones. You know what? You know what? I consider it worthwhile. This is actually a horrible idea. I just realized. Well, if we can get... Uh, we can't kill it. A decisive pummel. We can. I just didn't want the crit because now it's going to escape cloud constantly. Rend for the old gods is going to happen. How quickly the tide turns. That's not the tide turning, that's just you being a critting bastard for no reason. Alright, here's where the problem pops in. Drop its protection, we need to kill it fast. Yep. I had a feeling this was bound to happen. At least it's not an instant death. You're more important to kill off. Good enough as far as I'm concerned. That's a disease effect. I am not happy with you. Good. Very good. Um, I would like to just start healing you up, but you I would like to kill off as well. I'd rather not you not take another action too important to start healing her. Way too important. Thank goodness you got an action. Uh, kill him. Obliterated. That's not the crit I wanted to see then. It's now the game is trying to make it so the crits actively Your hurt me. Ears. Blurred vision. The end approaches. Good God. Game. What is wrong with you? It's only against the hag that you make healing this bad for me. Only person. Only person and no other. Burn it out. Jesus. I can't even heal you because it's just not worth it. Because as soon as you get healed, it's just going to drop back down to zero. Oh, I didn't even check to see what campfire... Oh, she has no campfire skills. Precision and power. That's not a... That's actually... 
Never mind. A I'm crazy. Trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Ditch these petty gold trinkets. She tenderizes the meat, but it's not enough to actually be worthwhile. We can ditch the medicinal herbs for now. What do we reveal? Please be... It's the boss. Good. Very good indeed. Firewood. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. You're useless, Talvase. <sighs> Triage is a, is a necessity. You'll be getting your blood soon enough. You don't die. I almost want to do a nighttime ambush. Bordekin has no such skills. Therapy Dog does not exactly help out that much. A restringing of the crossbow is very much called for. So, six. Ten. And Therapy Dog, I think, is two. No, it's not. Um, wound Care, which, awkwardly, is probably the be for the best. So, let's begin. Uh, restring Crossbow. Marching plan. I just completely ignored my own plan. I am glad. Don't worry, I've got this. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. The map reveals nothing, not surprised. Curio just before the boss. There's nothing we should actually hit right now, though. I believe we are ready. I believe. You, though. Drink. Alright. So... Let us be hopeful. Be very hopeful indeed. We'll give him a dog treat soon enough. Uh, what else do, should I do? Let's drop some holy water on you and holy water on you. Let's begin. The light, the promise of safety. All right, well. Twisted and maniacal. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. Protection is actually not your strong suit, but marking the target is important here. But it doesn't last long enough, so I actually am just going to want to start stacking as much bleed as I can on her and hopefully kill her that way. Um, you can actually take the time out of your day to heal her up. Since you're not very useful and I'm hoping that you're kind of eaten. Good. That's exactly as planned. Because you... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, no, if it bleeds, we're Iron Swan. Good. We're in a case of Iron Swandom. I'm actually going to want to make you not able to dodge any of the future attacks. You have one action, probably a Tenderize. Why is it a damage move that also heals her? Seriously. It's going to go away before too long, but... Iron Swan. I could definitely use a crit right there. Thank goodness. You won't be eaten. She's just going to be annoying and constantly tasting the stew. Good lord. You no longer have that insane buff as before, but she'll only have one more action and hopefully we'll be able to kill her. Come on, party. He's gonna be tossed out soon enough. With enough bleed stacks, we should As be able to kill her. Ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. If it bleeds, leave her corpse to rot. 
consumed by the spores she spawned. Oh, thank God. I don't think I actually need any more of those. I'm an idiot. I didn't use the dog treats. That's one torch out of many. We shall continue. By all rights, we have a straight shot back. We should not be hit by anything. Realistically, we're going to get utterly demolished and devastated. But that's just little things that happen to me. So we're just going to go for the freebies. Anything we already know is there that cannot possibly hurt us, we will go, crab, walk away. Not a problem. Nothing else. The hag is dead. We've gotten our mission objective. If we think the fanatic will show up, we'll leave. Because I'm not going to try to fight it. Or the collector, for that matter, especially while he's on permanent death's door. We didn't really need the blood, but I'd expected someone else to be tossed it. Yeah. Risking it. Okay, good. I. Soothed. Sedated. I understand that that kind of ran contrary to what I said earlier, but it's honestly not as horrible as I had stated. And now we can actually get the proper healing off for him. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Hmm. I kind of want to go back up there and grab some of the treasures, but that's starting to get to the point where why would I bother? Down to a room battle with treasure, but we're going to make a slight detour at the secret do Oh, I hate you so much. Gnawing hunger sets in, turning the body against itself, weakening the mind. No point, we're just going to get poisonous sap again. Key? Key? I had a key. What did I do with it? Game! Did I never just buy it? I distinctly remember buying a key. Did I honestly just ditch it for no reason? That can't be true. I hate you so much. In ways you would never begin to understand. I hate you. Let's just get out of here. It always happens too. I apparently thought I bought a key. Or maybe I just thought about buying a key and somehow that translated in my mind that I bought the key. Ah well. Come on heirlooms, let's just get a move on. Another blueprint, although I don't think we have... I, I don't think we actually need any more, I'm just grabbing it just in case. Oh baby, welcome to champion Numb. Fear of the Eldritch, that's not bad. Berenger gets the worries, we'll fix that later. But the hag is now officially dead. My nemesis has fallen. You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. Heresy in the blood. An excommunicated madman has responded to the growing infestation. Kind, fueled by his conviction, he is merciless and plies his trade with extreme prejudice. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I thought the fanatic would show up sooner. <sighs> is anything here infected? There is no infestation right now. Fair is fair. I still got enough gold. The wild does not continue. And there's only so many bosses remaining. How glorious. Anyway, before we do anything else, I hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been BrainBoy20 with Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon, and I'm signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe for it upset a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time. Farewell, and of course, be well.